Right, a little bit of a change. Some of you may have noticed this on uh, some of the other forums, pages, things like that, but if you haven't noticed, I've got long girly hair. Well, there's a reason for this. <laughs> right, I've been growing that for about two years. Um, all this for, it's, it's, if you can check out Little Princess's Charity, what they do is they take your hair like that uh, and they make it into wigs for kids with cancer that have lost all the hair obviously from treatment, things like that. So check it out, it's a nice cause. If you're thinking of growing your hair or cutting it off or whatnot, you know, you, you could be making some little kids day. So anyway, yeah. Back to the old haircut that I've had for about 10 years. So yeah, feels lovely to get it off and back to something that people can't grab and you know I mean it's, it's, there's no no fuss no mess uh, still keeping this though I mean you can't get rid of that uh, but yeah if you uh, think about getting rid of it it's, it's one of them one it's a nice thing to do it, it takes bugger all to to grow hair and it you know what kids are like when they're when they're small and stuff if there's anything different about them they freak out about it and they, they get all emotional so yeah you might do something nice that should balance out being a knob for the rest of the week, shouldn't it? Right, so here we are. We've got to the start of a massive project. This is going to go one or two ways. It's, it's in my head, whether it'll work on actual doing it, we'll see. So I've made some basic measurements and it's looking good. So it's got two chances, worst case, I'll put it back. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get everything ripped out. We're going to pull it all out, clear some space and then start shuffling some stuff around and see where it's at. But at the minute, stuff ends up everywhere because it's just like, um, just makes an aisle and it's easy to chuck stuff in, it's disorganised. So we're going to take this from a four to a three and we're going to put it over there. We're going to get rid of this whole bed all the way down here, and that's going to be a bed area here. We're going to shave that big cupboard down, turn it 90 degrees, and we're going to put a door in that side. So what we're doing now, we're just stripping this bed base and uh, get all the cushions off, get the folding mechanism off, and uh, get the water tank and everything out. Then we've got some room to have a play. Right, so that's the, the bed space now taken out. So what we're going to do is we've unscrewed all of this. So we're going to take this out, rotate it round, put it there and just see where it lies and then chop it down to size. Right, so what we're doing is we've got everything out now. We've taken the kitchen unit, we've put it on this side, but the windowsill is it's just over an inch lower than what this worktop is. So one of the old aluminium trims we've screwed back on now and we're going to use this as a guide. We're using this, which is totally the wrong tool, but it's super fine. So what it does is it cuts through this laminate without chipping it. We could tape it up, use fine blades, whatnot, but this is here, it's to hand and it works. So a bit of smoke, and it does the job. And a new battery. I think that's the apprentice's one. It's mine now. Unless you're watching this apprentice and it was never yours. Right, so just to give you a rough idea, that cupboard there is going to get halved in its width and rotated round. Uh, we've got this cupboard here. I'm only now in about having a man door now because I've gained so much space just for this little bit of a change. Where are we? As you can see there. Uh, fridge is roughly going to stay there because I can sit on it and cook. Uh, it also is another seat for someone to sit on and face this way while you've got two seats here and two seats here. 
Right, so we're in the back now. We've got the kitchen unit in now. It's lowered down, so it sits perfectly on that window, which I didn't realise, because I've put the put in the fridge here, it's going to be strapped down, but it's going to be a movable thing. Uh, but if you, the heights and everything, if I sit, one second, if I, if I sit on the fridge, it's perfect height for cooking. It's also, I can sit and face the rear of the vehicle over here and talk to the people that are on the benches. So I'm gaining loads of seating as well as loads of sleeping space by doing this. I think it's going to be a while till I get the door because obviously it's going to cost X amount to get the floor, it's going to cost X amount to get the new cushions, things like that. So the door, as and when. Uh, but it's, it's still going to work well until I'm, the only downside will be one, having the cushion next to the door if it's raining, uh, and two, uh, not being able to have the piece that goes across between the benches to make it a C-section bed because I'll have to come in and out that way. But the first of all problems, isn't it? It's, it's, it's not that bad. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get some box section all cut up and everything and we'll make the bed frames once they're in it should give us an idea of where everything's going to permanently go. Right, so where we're at now is we've made the two boxes for the seat boxes. Uh, what we're going to do is basically, uh, I've got a little hatch under here where I keep a lot of stuff. That's, <coughs> excuse me, um, that's going to get emptied and I'm looking at having a little ATV winch in there. It'll not pull the vehicle backwards, but with a pulley block, it can help. Uh, it can also pull trailers to it. It's also one where if I'm on a bad angle, it's another one to pull the vehicle back onto its wheels. So options and the cheap. Um, that's a long way down the line though. So yeah, they're in now, so just a bit of fastening in. Everything at the minute is just floating. So it's one of them ones, I'm making sure everything works, then I'll bolt it all in place, get it all squared away, and then we'll trim it all up. I'll, uh, I'll just tidy these off a little bit. I mean, by no means, I am not a fabricator. I mean, there'd be proper fabricators on this laughing, but I'm just a guy in a garden sticking metal together. It's what it is. It's, it's nice and strong, though. It's just not anywhere near as good as my mate Rob. <laughs> but that's his trade. Right, so it's just getting a bit grainy because it's dark out now. But basically, here we go. We've got the world's heaviest, heaviest, and people will bitch and say, oh, it's going to be too heavy. Oh, okay, it's a Land Rover. Um, it's, it's sturdy, it's actually welded onto the Land Rover now, so it's structural. Uh, reason being is I can bolt stuff into it, uh, and if I ever roll it in the desert, anything like that, it's going nowhere. Uh, I was going to bolt it down, but I found a good few bits of metal that I can, a uh, few bits of steel, sorry, uh, that I can weld to. Uh, tomorrow, while I've got some work in the morning, and then I'm going to have some, this is just out the old one, I'm going to get new wood for there, there, and there. Um, we're going to make a drop-in section for that there. Uh, and that can just be stowed to one side and eventually I'll make some sort of Gucci table for it. So yeah, we'll get the old trim that was on the seat base and we'll just do these sections here. And once the cushions are on, that's, that is done. So what tank's under there, but I'm going to see if I can fit it somewhere on this side because it makes it a hell of a lot easier to plumb. And that also gives me the idea I'm not going to put anything on these back bits. Reason being is I can open the door and put stuff underneath and stow it that way. Um, which then, once this door's in the side, it gives me a clean section, a dirty feet section here. Uh, and as you can see, I'm sat 
on my fridge. So I can have people sat all the way around there, which is, makes a good space. And this, remember, this is the back of a Land Rover. It's not bad, is it? So what we're gonna do as well is the lockers that are along there, we're gonna look at putting them along here, above again. We're gonna sack that bit off and sack that bit off because I've raised this up a bit because to me, garage space, I know it's not a garage, but it's as close as, is far more important than small little locker space, especially when um, the bulk of my gear will go in this big cupboard and these three cupboards here. I've also got, uh, it's hard to say, behind me, the overcab cupboard as well that I need to renovate. Yeah. So this is the bit people don't see. This is me getting up early uh, on Christmas week kettle uh, to go out and do some more work, uh, which gives me the money then to go and get the wood for the, you know, the camper. So it, it doesn't come from nothing. Uh, I get quite a few comments of people that think that I just get magically get this money and uh, it, it, I've got this well-paying job and stuff. It's not that, it's just while most people are in bed or watching telly, I'm at work. So, just out of curiosity, uh, seat base, seat base, and this bit here, obviously we're going to cut down to round about here, and this will be some sort of table or whatnot, or just stowed out the way, uh, that will drop into position. So, that's the size of bed that we've got to play with. Obviously, I'm six foot three, and this is just shy of six foot. I fit perfectly on a diagonal, however, that unit's getting halved and spun round, I keep saying this. Uh, and then there's a door going here. What I'm thinking of doing is on this piece here, having a fold up section that a cushion can be dropped on. Reason being is I can then sleep that way as well, which would give me, uh, I mean, that's already four foot, so I don't need a two foot section that lifts up. Um, the, the reason behind that idea is purely because it gives another option of, say, me sleeping down there, someone else sleeping here, or uh, the amount of times I park on a really, really odd angle, uh, it, you can then choose where your head's going to go because it's, I don't stop on campsites and whatnot very regular, so it's just options and I like options. So garage space underneath, as you can see, we've got even more space on the other side, so yeah, this has gained a lot of storage. So what I'm doing, uh, normally <clears throat> you drill through the wood into the metal that would secure it but then you can see the fittings and fixings and stuff. So what I'm doing, I drill out uh, straight through with a small metal bit and then I get a larger one and I drill the first hole out then that allows me to put a wood screw, uh, the head will then fit through the first one and then uh, it'll actually buy on the second piece and pull the wood to it. Uh, you can't go mad with this because it'll split the wood, but it will secure it and it, it holds it quite well. Uh, you need quite a few fittings uh, just to sp spread the load of it, but this isn't something, it's the box section that's taking the brunt of anything in here. This is just trim for, for show and just to retain things a little bit. Okay, so we've mounted this up so the trims overlap and it's all nice. Yep, jobs are good. Pass through the first one. That doesn't quite get it because my uh, extender's a bit fat. So we just nip it up. Perfect. That is it. Couple on the bottom, and then that's uh, every angle. Right, I'm at that point in the uh, the build where I've got me smug face on uh, and I'm getting that warm fuzzy feeling because in my head it was going to work and I'd just have enough wood and I've actually got quite a bit left over for bits of trim, new shelves, things like that. I'm thinking down the side of the bed here where that square is, just to that side of the square is where the door's going to go, but that looks perfect space for a gun rack and um, just mount them just there. So you want to have a look, don't you? Let's have a look. So there we go, that's the bed set up, six foot by four foot, a bit too short for me but if sleeping diagonally across the bed's the worst I have to put up with in the field, it's not bad. So all this stuff, all the camp cover stuff, the, uh, the shower and everything, it's all going to get altered because um, as you can imagine, 
I'm going to find silly games. I'm going to find new spots and everything for it. Wow, there's nothing I haven't focused. Um, so yeah, that's all going to get redone. These cupboards, sorry, it's, it's pitch black outside, so I'm struggling for light because I've, I've lost lights, obviously. All these cupboards are going to go above the kitchen unit, and all this wall's going to get vel trimmed. Okay, so then that'll be nice. Uh, the back doors will get vel trimmed, and the camp cover stuff back on. Then over this side, we have got. What's this doing? Yes. Over this side, we have got the cupboard. You know what I'm doing with that. The fridge, that's going to live there. I'm going to make some tie downs for it. Uh, and then, yeah, there's going to be the little cupboards above with some lights coming down. Uh, give plenty of room here. And this bed, oh, it's got the old cushions on at the minute, which don't really work for it, but it, it'll do for a bed meanwhile. Uh, the central, when well, I've got the new cushions, the central will come out and we'll have the C shaped seat in. We've got the doors to get underneath. Uh, we need to make a new cupboard door for the above storage there. Going to reseal that out, which will give me storage for my duvets and whatnot. So yeah, it worked. It did work. Now to trim it all and fit it all out. So, I mean, that's that's where we're at with it. There's a few bits to um, screw down. There's a few pipes to run around, bits like that. But you've seen the gist of it now. Uh, I just want to say thanks again to the Patreons because, you know, I mean, that's ultimate support, isn't it? Uh, thanks again for everybody else that's uh, giving us the thumbs up, the comments, love the comments. I know Stu always reads through them as well. Uh, if, you've not, if you've not checked his channel out, check his channel out. It's uh, Prepared to Cook and Survive. Um, he's very, very new to YouTube, so we need to get out a little bit more. I'm going to film some more bits. And edit. What I'm doing is I'm filming stuff for him while I'm filming mine, editing it up separate and putting it on his channel for him. So as we do more, that will grow. So yeah, check his stuff out. I'll put a link down below so check that out uh, and once again just thanks for stopping by more videos to come